In this problem, we're told a 0.145 kilogram baseball pitched horizontally at 32 meters per second strikes a bat and is popped straight up to a height of 36.5 meters. If the contact time between the bat and the ball is 2.5 milliseconds, calculate the average force between the ball and the bat during contact. Right, so we have this ball being pitched towards this bat at 32 meters per second. Right, and then it's going to get hit straight up uh, to a height of 36.5 meters. We're given the contact time, basically the change in T, I like to call it, which is 2.5 milliseconds. And we're also given the mass of the ball, which is 0.145 kilograms. What we're trying to find is the average force. Okay, so in this problem, there's a few things you need to know in order to solve it. So when they say the average force, keep in mind this is going to be like a vector since there's two different directions, right? So there's going to be a magnitude and direction. It's not going to be straight. Right, so what we're going to have to do is find uh, the average force in the y and the average force in the x and then take the resultant of it. So you just have to keep that in mind. So what we want to do is basically find the average force in the x and the average force in the y. So first off, you need to know what average force equals. So f average is equal to the change in momentum over the change in time. Change in time is just the contact time, a uh, change in momentum. Uh, we know momentum equals mass times velocity. So the change in momentum is just mass, which is constant, right? So the mass doesn't change. And it's just going to be v final minus v initial. Right, because if you just did mv final minus mv initial, which is your final momentum minus initial, that's going to give you the change. But masses are constant, so we can just pull it out. So really, this is the formula we're going to use. Right, so f average is going to be equal to m times v final minus v initial over uh, the change in time. Right, so uh, keep in mind the change in time we're given, uh, and then we just got to find these uh, or the basically the change in momentum for the x and y direction. So uh, we have to do it for both, right? So let's just start with the x direction because I think we have all the information given. So f average is going to be equal to the mass, 0.145. So what's its change in velocity, right, in the x direction? So we know it's going to be initially pitched at 32, right? So its change is 32, and then it gets hit straight up, meaning its velocity in the x is just going to be zero. So its change is 32, right? I guess you would say v initial is... Right, it goes v final 0 minus 32. But when you do this, the, the negative sign isn't actually going to impact anything. And the reason that is, is because we're going to square it. So I'm just going to keep it positive. But keep in mind, it's actually uh, negative if you were finding just the x value. So we can just say 32, though, because that's its change, right? So there's that. Uh, or I guess it would be positive if you input the negative sign. But it doesn't really make a difference. Just know the change is 32. And then we're going to divide by the change in time, right? So the change in time, uh, the, or the contact time, is 2.5 milliseconds. Uh, you got to keep in mind when you need this in seconds, though, when you solve it, not milliseconds. So basically, you just divide by 1,000 because there's 1,000 milliseconds in a second. So this is really just equal to 0 0.0025 seconds. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, so we got to divide by 0 0.0025 seconds. So yeah, just do 0 0.145 times 32, then divide by 0 0.0025. And when you do that, you're going to get it equals 1,856 newtons. So keep in mind, this is the average force in the x. So average force in the x is done. Now we need to find it in the y. So keep in mind, same formula, mass, 0.145. What's its change in velocity in the y? So we actually aren't given this. We don't know. So the way we're going to solve it is by using energy. Uh, and that's, yeah. So basically, we know the energy in the beginning has to equal to the energy at the end. So an en energy initial equals energy final. And so basically what this tells us is just 1 half mv squared is equal to mgh, right? You should know how to work out these formulas, but you'll get 1 half mv squared equals mgh. And what we want to do is find the velocity, right? So if we solve for the velocity, keep in mind this is the velocity in the y because we're doing the y. Uh, and then if we solve for it, you'll get vy equals the square root of 2gh, right? Because these cancel, and then you multiply this side by 2 and square root. So uh, yeah, so we can just solve for the velocity in the y, which is just going to be 2 times 9.8 times the height it goes to, which is 36.5. So 36.5, go ahead and plug this in in your calculator. So 2 times 9.8, right? And then multiply by 36.5. And when you do this, you're going to get it equals V is 26.746. I'm just going to round to 26.75. If you want to use the more exact value, you can. It's not going to probably make a difference. Might be off by a few decimals, but uh, 26.75 meters per second. So now we've got the velocity, so we can just plug it in here, right? Because that's going to be the change in it. It goes from 0 to this, right? So now we've got this, and then we just divide by 0 0.0025. So plug this in, 0.145 times 26.75 divided by 0 0.0025. When you do this, you're going to get 1551.5. I'm just going to round to 11552. 
or one, five, five, two, sorry, and then this is Newton's again. So now we have it in the X and the Y, so we can find the resultant, right? So uh, the way we do that is just by taking the square root and add them up. It's like Pythagorean, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We're solving for C squared, so we just square root both sides. And then A and B are just these two values, your X and Y. So uh, basically F average, right, is gonna be equal to the square root of one, eight, five, six squared plus one, five, five, two squared. So if you plug this in, square root, 1856 squared plus 1552 squared. You'll get F average, right? You're just going to get it equals uh, 2419, right? So second square root. Yeah, so 2419 and then 0.388. You can round however you want. I'm just going to round to the hundreds just to make it easier. So 2400 uh, newtons. That's going to be the right so that's basically the average force between the ball and the bat but what we also want to do is find the magnitude so we can specify the direction it goes in so 2400 newtons and then to find the direction it goes in you just take the arc tangent of your y over your x so in this case the y was 1552 the x was this so 1552 over 1856 and when you do that when you take the arc tangent you'll get 39.9 degrees so basically 39.9 degrees is going to be the direction and then 2400 newtons is your magnitude so i guess both of these are your answers uh but yeah so 2400 newtons 39.9 degrees uh, these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful